Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to the uh, podcast. Uh, if you're new, welcome. If you're a veteran, thanks for coming back and, uh, and listening. Um, we have uh, Mr. Hans with us, as usual. Senor Hans. Senor. It's always these Hispanic people. He says, Mr. Hans, Senor Hans. Senor Hans. Yeah. It's a good one, Senor Hans. I like that, Mr. Hans. Yeah. Um, Very nice people. We're going to, well, so today's episode is going to be about the question of sloped back on German shepherds and hip issues. There's a, people think there's a correlation, correlation between uh, the slope back and or causation. Causation, or, yeah, well, it's just two different things. But can you clarify that? Um, can you, yeah, so just clarity is always, which you're good with that, but, you know, so where you're coming from or whatever. Yeah, I mean, your I'll, experience. I'll, do, yeah. I'll explain it. Uh, first of all, since you mentioned the hips, there is no causation between sloping backs, over-angulated dogs, even show dogs, and hips. That's not scientifically okay. proven. So, so I get that right out yeah. of the way. That's not, okay. There are dogs which are sloping like crazy, mm -hmm. and they have great hips. Mm -hmm. And then there are dogs who are square and they have bad hips. Yeah. And percentage-wise, it also doesn't work. So, so don't wor don't don't blame bad hips on sloping backs. Mm -hmm. It's just it's two separate issues. It's like blaming your car that it's too slow because it's red. Yeah. You know. No correlate. Yeah. Your car may be red, but it, and mean, it's fast, but it, that's, yeah. that's that's correlation, but not causation. Correlation, yeah. So. <clears throat> If you look at pictures, old pictures, black and white of German shepherds. Going back. How way far? back there, I don't know, I don't 30s, know. 40s, okay. maybe, okay. I don't know. Roughly. Just, you know, you, yeah. will, you will notice then the dogs yeah. are not so having sloping backs. And people say, you see, back then, they didn't breed them sloping like that. It's true and not true, right? Let me explain. The... Back then, they would stand the dog differently, right? I tried to, because I deal with this when I'm selling dogs, ah, I don't want this dog, it's too slopey. I see, from you a know? still <clears throat> picture. <clears throat> yeah, still they look image. at Ginopo yeah. dogs and they say, oh, look how slopey it is. And the reason why those dogs are slopey, you know, uh -huh. is because they're positioned that way. And why are they pos back then? They didn't position them. There's two different stands. One is called natural, and one it's called show. Or yeah. That's how I call that's it. That's why they call them show line German right. shepherds. Well, no, no? Okay. don't don't go there for, All right. for now. Um, so 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 for so if you wanna back then they 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 stood the dogs in natural stand, like square, like a horse, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And I even talked to Yiri about it. I said, why don't you just stand there in a natural stand? Because I cannot yeah. take any more of these people trying to yeah. tell us. And I have yeah. to always over and over explain why the dog yeah. is not slopey. He's just positioned that way. Yeah. And Yiri says, well, I'm not going to make my dogs look like an old horse. <laughs> well, that's what he said. Okay. You know, it's some derogatory term uh, for horse he used. Uh, yeah. I don't know how to translate it. Anyway, so you had these dogs in the um, past which were standing natural stand, which gives people the false impression that those dogs were not sloping. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you would stand them the way they stand them now, they would be sloping. The pictures lie. The picture lie. You don't trust your lying eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Don't believe your lying eyes. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so, uh, so that's one thing, right? Okay. And so, why people say, well, why do they stand them in these uh, in this position so the back is sloping and all that, like that? And there is a specific ways to stand it, so it's not over exaggerating the dog's uh -huh. looks, but but they stand them that way, and and you can look it up where the legs should be. Post it like the mm -hmm. front leg has got to be vertical, and mm -hmm. so you can see the angle between the collarbone and shoulder blade, and all that is supposed to be 45 
whatever yeah. degrees. Okay. Right. And, uh, and, 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 and when you stand the dog that, and, and the rear foot should be one little forward, one little back, but not too far. Uh-huh. You want to make sure that, let's say, the leg, which is back, the the first part above the ground should be vertical up. It should not be, you know, under some kind of an angle. Yeah, yeah. If it's under angle, it's over exaggerated, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And 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 so so in other words, I'm not gonna get into it, but there's certain rules to stand the dog that way so that the judge can evaluate the angles correctly okay so it's more for that that it's the for judging. that reason okay. okay so when people who understand german shepherd look at that dog they can tell how the dog is built but from that position okay okay it's just okay. just take my word for it that's that's okay. why they position them that so way. it's a judging uh, it's a judging, judging tool team. right yeah Okay, like Dobermans, they stand them straight, right? They don't put leg yeah. forward or back. You know, yeah, they just, yeah. You know, but in German Shepherds, that's tradition. That's how they do it. Okay. Because the, the angles of all bones of, of the limbs, mm-hmm. starting from shoulder or from neck down and from pelvis down, yeah. needs to have certain angles. And if, they, if you put them in this angle, now you can tell if that dog is sloping too much or not enough and you know mm-hmm. whatever that it's just okay. it just gives a, i'm not expert on it exactly okay. but you can look it up on internet okay. and it'll tell you how these angles should be right and it's okay. very important that you look it up basically looking at 45 degrees and 90 degrees angles okay. right and if they start deviating from that that means the dog is not structured correctly okay right okay. 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 And 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 so now, if you would let's say look at Ginopo dogs, right, our dogs. Yeah. And you see the angles of the leg, and he's standing with his rear feet split, split, split apart, so it shows a slope a little bit on the back. Mm-hmm. Just picture if you would put those rear feet together, together yeah. the dog would be square. Yeah. Yep. And that's how it should be. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now you mentioned show dogs, show lines, and the problem with those dogs is that they breed the dogs that way, so they're permanently that way. Yeah. Position or not, the dog is just shuffling around his. It's just pathetic. Yeah. It's disgusting. As a matter of fact, it's destruction of yeah. the breed. That's why a lot of people say the show dogs, the German Shepherds, are not even same breed. They yeah. are same breed, but, but not just you don't. Yeah. You know, that's crazy, okay? You don't want to... In other words, when the dog straightens up, yeah. in other words, if he puts his yeah. rear feet together, he should be rectangle, yeah. not yeah. triangle. Right. Yeah. So, so you know, and they should not be permanently that way. Okay, right? so... The the Max von Stefanitz, he said the, the beauty of a German Shepherd should be derived from its ability to, 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 to work. And that it should be the uh, look of an athlete, right? So like a gymnast, right? That's mm-hmm. perfect body because they do all sorts of things. Yeah. Now, or, or you have uh, bodybuilders, right? They say position themselves in certain positions yeah. so they can be judged. Yeah. But that doesn't mean they're that way. They're, they're walking like that all the time, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they look weird if they... Yeah, so... <laughs> so it's the same thing. That's why, you know, they, yeah. they can judge their muscles certain way, same way they do it with the dogs. They position them in that position, but you do not want the dog to look like that permanently. Yeah. So you really got to watch the dog, uh, how he moves to his reach and all that. There's other things, you know, they judge. Yeah. And, and so you want to see the balanced looking dog when he walks, but for the evaluation, he's being positioned yeah you know so. yeah yeah so and 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 uh, we talked about the hips right that there's no there's no cor- correlation between slow back there's correlation there's no, maybe but not not, not causation between slow back and yeah. bad hips yeah there may be dog which has bad hips and it's slopey 
but that doesn't mean that the dog who is sloppy ha- has a bad Cause. hips because of that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So those are basically the things I, I would like to clarify. And a lot of people who uh, don't understand or they are new to German Shepherd breed, they're, they're kind of concerned with it. You know, I get calls from mm. people saying, well, I wouldn't like to buy a dog, but I see this particular dog you have is really sloppy. And I say sloppy because he's positioned that way. Understand the difference between being positioned that way and and, and being that way all the time. Yeah. Genetically just bred to Yeah, I've seen it. Everybody's like seen it, I'm sure, walking, yeah. And you can usually tell when that dog walks. Yeah. He straightens up if he is a yeah. working dog and keeps staying sloppy when he is a show dog. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's pathetic. Yeah. The, yeah. But we don't have any of those sloppy ones. There's no way. And you know what's interesting that back then, like in the 80s or before that, even the show dogs, before the show and work split apart, the dogs were showed, they were not like that all the time. It's okay. just some kind of a craziness uh, yeah. which happened. Yeah. And it's it's really... And those dogs are expensive. I mean, we're talking tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's like covered like for just the, the yeah. It's business. just it's just like some kind yeah. of a, these people have some kind of a mental problem. Yeah, you want yeah. to see the dog look like that all the time. Yeah, no, it's not healthy. So you gotta you gotta distinguish those two things, you know. So yeah, yeah. That's it. Okay, I don't know. This was a shorter episode, but yeah, uh, but it's really important. Yeah, you know, it, people need to understand. Is it? And and they say the modern dog. You see, let me say one more thing. They say, you see the modern dogs, they are now more sloppy than the old dogs. And it's only because they start positioning them that way yeah. later on. Yeah, yeah. Right? So just because the dog was not positioned that way doesn't mean he was more square. Yeah, got it. There's, I mean, you should be looking at video image, not just still image. That's what you can see. The yeah, dog. or if you understand the structure of the dog, even if he's positioned that way, you can tell, you know. yeah. I can tell. Yeah, well, yeah. You know, I tell Hans, I go, I'm just Hans, gonna... you've been at this for 50 plus years. Uh, if somebody's new, they're, you know, so. Well, don't get stuck on it, okay? Yeah. When you're looking you at know. the dog, look like, a, let's say, Ginopo, you know, our dogs. Yeah. They're sloppy, but it's all natural. Also, you can kind of tell on the chest, right? The chest should be horizontal and the back is down. Mm-hmm. It's like a triangle. Mm-hmm. You don't want to have it uh, both slope it down because the, the show people, they over-exaggerate the stand and then everything is coming down. Yeah, it should be a, like a, a kind of cool, you can do a light drawing. Yeah. Because the, then people can see the angle of well, the... Well, the front legs are, ver- front part is vertical, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. The legs go 45 degrees to each other. They have a pastern. Yeah. Every angle is judged. Yeah. You know. And in working dogs or show dogs, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But there's two distinct things. So don't insult me asking me if our dogs are sloping because they're not. Yeah. <laughs> you think judging can... Like this whole thing of judging this, whenever it started, did it hurt or help breeds? Mm-hmm. Did, did it, it hurt, hurt or what? Hurt or, or helped breeds, the whole judging thing? Well, you want to have a structurally sound dog. So, yeah, the judging is important. You want a good-looking, structurally sound dog, but you want to, you want to judge what Stefan had said, right? You want to judge the... the, the, the you want to see the athlete. You don't want to see some kind of a warped uh, individual. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or they just took it to another level. Like, I guess money gets into everything and it ruins. Well, know, things people, and... people. It's it's like it's like wall to wall, right? It's either that way or that way, and there's nothing in happy medium. Yeah. You know, it's just it's just the, the show people brought to such an extreme that it's disgusting mm-hmm. you know yep. you know and and they like it it's like the or the the, the 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 asian breeders 
they bring these German shepherds with his head over Rottweilers. Oh, yeah, I've seen it, yeah. It's, you know, it's first time when I thought I saw it's a Photoshop. Yeah, Photoshop. No, it's not. AI image. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Yeah. It's and they like, like it for some reason. Yeah. They're moved away so far away from the purpose of the yeah. dog. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Stay with balance, though. If you want to know how the German shepherd should look like, go on studs on the Ginopo. Yeah, go Ginopo. Studs. Our Studs. dogs, and you will see how they're supposed to look. If you enjoyed this content so far, please subscribe to our channel. Also, Hans has a podcast channel called Dog Training for Life. Check that out so you can listen to the audio version. Yiri was really stickler on proper structure. Yeah. <clears throat> when he was breeding dogs in Czech Border Patrol, he uh, he made these, uh, I, and I'll send it to you. We can impose it. Okay. There was this kind of pink thing, this picture, uh -huh. and you can see all sorts of numbers and stuff. He measured diameter, uh, circumference of the chest, mm -hmm. circumference of the wrist, mm -hmm. strong jaw, weak jaw, all, all was in there. Mm -hmm. And then he would also judge performance of mm -hmm. the dog before they would even breathe. So it. physical appearance and then also... How they move, and of course then they did the courage tests and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So the all around, he's, he was looking for an all around... Yeah, the, the German Shepherd just, is the most versatile breed in the world. Yeah. You know, so that's why you need to uh, keep it that way. Mm -hmm. You know, not to go into some fat of over angulated show dogs. Yeah, yeah, no, you know, I mean it's... And then too straight is not good either because you want to have little angles between the shorter blade and collar blade and Color the blade. humerus and all that because it works like a suspension. Mm -hmm. You know, when you look at dogs which are all straight, then they jump from up, it's a jolt and they, it doesn't work like suspension. Boom, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, at least that's the theory. Mm -hmm. And it works that way. Yeah, logically. Yeah. All right, well, all right, well with it. this being said, uh, subscribe, share, all the good stuff. And Hans, you can uh, tell him. Hit, hit the red square. The red square down. Right up, lower, right bottom corner. Right. Lower Right left, hand bottom lower left. corner. Right lower right. Lower right as you're looking at it, yeah. <laughs> it's there. You can see subscribe. You can't miss it. Uh, but also, Hans, uh, talk about the uh, puppies and stuff. And I mean. Yeah, if you guys want to buy puppies, yeah. check old style, check Border Patrol dogs types dogs because you know we don't buy dogs from border patrol now it's i don't want to get into that but yep. it's the old style as as he created them mm -hmm. yeah. right yeah so if you're looking for a puppy or a trained dog to yeah trained dogs you know and yeah. all that yeah. for breeders families uh snr search and rescue snr yeah um work of any sorts detection police whatever no. we are about work we are about work. Yeah. yeah. Balance, spray, defense, drive. Yeah. You know. Yep. Yeah. All the good stuff. Yeah, we, 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 yeah. That's what we strive for. You yeah. know. And we have a good, pretty good record. Yep. Not perfect, but. Yeah. No one is good. As some people say, oh, they just do it for the money. <laughs> yeah. okay. If you wanted money, there's a. <laughs> I, have, I could be a geologist and make six figures at least, and yeah. I'm not. Yeah. You know, and I, I went to college for that for six years yeah so um but he loves dogs and here's so rest is yesterday you know i was thinking about well, picking up dog shit <laughs> <laughs> that's part of it part of the whole package you know um also visit alpine canine reel uh that's where the uh the protection how to teach a, a dog a, a personal protection that's a true yeah, personal there are videos protection. for sale yeah, that's for protection, obedience, yeah, puppy feeding, puppy raw, feeding, yeah. buggy whip. Uh, what do you yep. call it? The flirt pole. Flirt pole. Yep. You it, know, all it, sorts of stuff. It's all there at the at the website at Alpine. And we are gonna make video, or I already made it. We just need to process yes. it. how to make a leash. How to make a leash. The best leash you will ever have, literally. If you follow my instruction, then and yep. buy the proper material. Yeah. Yeah. It's so. good. It's a good leash. I have two of them. So again, subscribe, share, do all the good stuff, and we will see you next time. Ahoy.